Hey, you guys know about the meme about the British Museum always stealing stuff and not giving it back? Well, I did find one verified story about a time that definitely happened. Yes, really. This is the tale of the stolen proconsul skull. Well, to begin with, the heck is a proconsul? Well, it was a mammal. It's an extinct genus of primates that existed from 21 to 17 million years ago during the Miocene epoch. Fossil remains of these creatures are present in Eastern Africa, including both Kenya and Uganda. There are four different species that have been classified under this genus. P. africanus, P. jitongai, P. major, and P. mesue. The species differ mostly in just body size. And environmental reconstructions for the early Miocene preconsul sites are still actually tentative and range from forests to more open air and grasslands. There's still a lot to figure out about this particular species, but they are important as primates, since modern animals like the gibbon, great apes, and us would share a common ancestral lineage, and that may have included the proconsuls. These animals had a mixture of old world monkey and ape characteristics, and the first specimen was actually discovered in 1909 by a gold prospector at Koru in western Kenya. It was a partial jaw fragment, and until very recently actually, it was the oldest fossil hominoid known. It was also the first fossil mammal ever found in sub-Saharan Africa. But what about this skull? This particular skull of a proconsul that was stolen by the British Museum? How? Why? Well, the skull was originally in the possession of the Kenyan National Museum, and it was estimated to be about 19 million years old. However, the Kenyan Museum didn't have enough facilities in the 1940s to give it a proper cleaning, at least not in a safe way. So they opted to send it to the British Museum for this to be done. And according to Dr. Emma Mabua, who was the museum's chief paleoanthropologist, it took them 40 years to get it back. What? 40 years to clean a skull? I mean, I know this is a fossil, so you have to be careful, but why did it take them 40 years? Well, it wasn't because they took that long to clean it. They just didn't want to give it back. It was a piece they didn't have. It was a piece they wanted for their collection, so once the Kenyan Museum sent it, the British Museum was like, ah, where can I hold on to it, actually? It's ours now. This is mine now. 40 years of discussion and debate and urging is what it took to finally get the British Museum to give the skull back to the Kenyan Museum, which is where it belonged and who rightfully owned it. As a direct result of this particular incident, the Kenyan Museum apparently has a very strict policy to never let any of their artifacts leave their halls, ever. Specifically to prevent anything like that from ever happening again. You just can't trust people, apparently, and keep them from stealing your stuff. And as I said, I know the meme about the British Museum having a bunch of stolen stuff is ongoing, but this is the first verified case of it directly happening outright that I am currently aware of. If I find any more verified cases, I'll be happy to let you know. Until next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fond farewell.